This is the story of a very strange and special Christmas Eve. Long ago, in the old city of Nuremberg in Germany, in homes big and small, children had gathered to receive their Christmas gifts. But some children, as we all should know, were not so lucky. Little Marie was only a poor servant girl, and even though this was the most special night of the year, she was not allowed to join the party. Late that night, after most of the children had all gone home to bed, My name is Nathaniel, and I'm a prince. And so the sad Nutcracker began to share his story, a story that began in a small kingdom not far from Nuremberg. It was Prince Nathaniel's first birthday. It's the evil mouse queen. What are you looking at? And you? Your highness. Huh? Oh, oh. Your highness. Your highness. What about me? Yes, my son. Leave me alone. Give it to 
Mama. No, it's mine. Give it to Mama. We're not here to take the prince's presents. We're here to give him one. Okay, Mama. Whatever you say, Mama. Open your arms, Sunny. Queen snatched up his mother's magic crown and vowed that he and his army of evil mice would someday return and chew the nutcracker to pieces.
splendid Christmas present. I shall have such fun chewing you to pieces. Cracker watched helplessly as Tiny Marie was taken prisoner by the Mouse Army. He was able to reach a tiny toy bugle. It was time to rally his troops. that his troops of mice had already lost the battle, the angry Mouse King used his magic powers to turn the Nutcracker's brave army back into harmless toys and to bring his own army back to life. The Nutcracker and Marie were suddenly all alone. Mouse King was triumphant at last. After all these years, he had snared the Nutcracker. How do you suppose we should get rid of him? Let's chop off his head. Oh, no, you don't. And now, Prince Nathaniel, revenge is mine. Prince, one final blow to finish you off!
Don't be afraid, dear. Marie! The spell is broken! Saving my life. Because of your friendship and love, you've helped deliver me from the evil spell and change me back in myself. The prince then offered to take Marie with him to his magical kingdom, the kingdom he'd not seen for all these lonely years. As their journey began, they heard the dance of the sugar plum fairies. down to the Lake of Roses until a palace of marble and sparkling crystal was seen in the distance. The dark palace slowly began to come alive. It's lovely, Nathaniel. Lights once again glowed in the windows. Marie, I am home at last, after all this time. This way, my darling. A beautiful bridge of violets and primroses grew across the moat for them to cross. The flowers spread all the way up to the throne like a rolled-out carpet. The good king and queen, frozen in grief for all these sad years, slowly came back to life. <sighs> Who is that? This is my home, Marie. It's absolutely lovely! Could it be? <gasps> yes, it is! Our little prince, who'd been turned into a nutcracker years ago, has returned home to us! <laughs> Overjoyed, Prince Nathaniel and Marie began to dance a beautiful waltz. The Waltz of the Flowers.
love you, Nathaniel. And so, on Christmas morning, the poor servant girl and the sad nutcracker had become what they were meant to be, and had gone to live in their magical kingdom forever in love. Only Marie's wooden shoes and the broken man remained beneath the tree.